know, sometimes if you have a little one, sometimes a toddler tends to act like an adult, tries to emulate mom or dad. But, but this is not exactly that case because the video we are about to show you may not be suitable for all viewers, but it has led to some serious anger. Critics say the Omaha Police Officers Association opened a, a Pandora's box by posting it on the internet. Take a listen. You a bitch. <laughs> you, throw, you throwing a fit right now, little <laughs> 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 You ain't yeah, talking that <laughs> now, <laughs> you too. Say bitch. Stop saying <laughs> That's why you can't fight. Say you a bitch. I know, it's a lot of bleeping, but it's coming from the voices and from this toddler on the, the face of it. It's, it's horrendous. But some critics came down harder on the police association, accusing it of basically race baiting with a polarizing video. CNN's Casey Wine is uh, watching this one for us today. And Casey, why did the police association put this video up on the website? Well, let me read you what they said about that, Brooke. They said, we have an obligation to share, uh, to continue to edu educate the law-abiding public about the terrible cycle of violence and thuggery that some young innocent children find themselves helplessly trapped in. Talk about violence and thuggery. That's because on that unedited video, which goes on for a minute and 23 seconds, 35 different profane words exchanged between the child and three, at least three adults uh, in the room during that period of time. They talk about gang issues. They talk about sexual issues. I don't know if you could really see it or if our viewers could see it, but the child holds up its middle finger uh, oh. during that exchange to the adults. It's very, very disturbing. The Police Officers Association saying that they basically have an obligation to share what's going on with the public. It's yeah. hard to even understand what you can't even hear what's happening in the video because of the profanity back and forth. Do we know you hear these adult voices? Who are the people in the video? Well, we don't know specifically. The Police Officers Association says that on the Facebook posting that they took this from, one of the people posting said that he was the child's uncle. We don't know that specifically. They did not post any names, so we don't know. What we do know is a lot of people on social media upset by the potential racial overtones of this and by the fact that the Police Officers Association did not blur that young child's face when it posted that video, Brooke. Casey Wyan, thank you.